Welcome back to The Local Show, a service of Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts and Geddes Federal Savings and Loan. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in Central New York. The Local Show, locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, here are your hosts, Tom and Steve. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, on The Local Show. It's a, a beautiful weekend that you should be happy to be a part of The Local Show with, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm concerned about something, Tom. What are you? I'm concerned, I'm concerned that concerned uh, before we started the set, uh, Brian yeah. said he did imitations of you oh, and me <laughs> yes. uh, from Brian, the president of Geddes Federal Savings yes. Loan. So I'm a little concerned. Uh, uh-huh. What do we sound like to a bank president? I don't know. <laughs> you would have to do the... Oh, wait, wait he's got his game, game face on. So wait, let, let him introduce Let's you see. first, Brian. Yes, go ahead. Uh, uh, so go ahead. Impersonations. Mm-hmm. Yes, I would like to introduce Brian Dumond, president of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan. You know what's oh, yeah, what do you think about that, Tom? That, well, that's awesome. Oh, you know, I think that he's just the best in the world. And you know, what a great guy. You can call him direct and talk to him. Oh, is it is doesn't crazy. get any better than that. I, wait a minute. Oh, he's <laughs> you got liked you it pegged. when he shifted to me. Yes. Oh. Well, he made me sound very regal. Yeah. You, know, you, you sound <laughs> like a talk show sound host. like Boo Eagle Moose. That's yes. what I sounded like. I don't know. <laughs> You're more like a game show uh, host. Oh. Yes. All right, Tom, do whatever nice. you do. Well, that's Brian Dumond, a multi- <laughs> <laughs> multi-talented <laughs> right there. And he's the president of Geddes Federal Savings Loan, proving that he is a down-to-earth person as well as good with numbers and things like that. Thank you for being here well, you, thank you for inviting us <laughs> you bought or brought a special guest with you and i believe her name is shauna and uh when i hear the name shauna all i can think of is ferris bueller's day off and they say shauna that was the movie i was trying to think of oh, there you go. <laughs> <have a> winner. <laughs> now we know right <laughs> i've been telling him i go when i go to the ladies auxiliary that's all i hear is one of the ladies calling it out and i couldn't remember the movie but that that's was where it. it's from that, yeah actually the woman that had your job before her name was roxanne no, no, they didn't. <laughs> so, no, no so, that's not the same thing not the same thing so what do you <laughs> do at Guinness? So I am a loan originator, so I help people get houses. I help them get home equities, line of credits. All those things? Kind of of an everything thing, right? Yeah. When it comes to borrowing money. Yeah, because we're small, so everything is right in one department. Okay. What's your favorite part? My favorite part really is helping people get their houses for the first time. So either people that are much older that never thought they'd be able to own a home and then they come through and they are able to get one and move their family into it or a young couple that's starting out and they want to get their first house. This is where this is where Tom says, Steve, you need to find out her back stories a little bit. Like, where did she come from? So this is what he would be asking right now. Yes. So, uh, so Tom, go ahead and ask. Yeah, what's your backstory? Um, <laughs> where, where are you from? Well, are you a Syracuse native? Did you grow up yes. here? Okay. What so high school did you go to? I went to Fowler. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tough so. girl. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell already. <laughs> I think that answer always throws people off whenever yeah. I tell them where I'm actually from. That's why she's sitting over <laughs> yeah. there. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful school. They, they, you know, the renovations they did with oh the gosh. field and everything, it looks like a college, you know, out, out front, doesn't it? It does now. Mm-hmm. It did it not when I yeah, went there. Yeah, when you went there. to school there. But you made it through, and you did well. So, And then where'd you go after that? I did. So I actually wound up, um, before I came to Gattis, I was working at PNC in that same plaza. Uh-huh. And one of the people came up, and they let me know that there was a position available. So I walked up there. I applied. I was really nervous walking in there, but I ended up getting the job. I was a teller. Uh-huh. Um, they needed some help basically stuffing envelopes upstairs in the closing department. So I worked both departments for a while, stayed up there, and now they moved me up to origination. Very it's nice. like the Bailey Savings and Loan time. Right, yeah. You know, uh, Brian? But, but let me let me say this, because yeah. Shauna's kind of downplaying what she did. Right. Shauna really, really wanted to get to the mortgage department. That's like was her dream. Mm-hmm. And so basically she was saying to any chance I can, to go up to the mortgage department. I don't care if it's stuffing envelopes. I don't care what it is. If I can help, let me know. Nice. So if it was slow on the teller line, she'd go up and help them with whatever. And and then of course she positioned herself. Right. So when, when a job came up in the mortgage department, well, they already knew her. Yeah. They already liked her. So, it, I mean, it, it's just that, that level of ambition 
is you know just have to brag on you because it's true that's wonderful and that's the president of the bank saying that uh, about he's a, you and he's a big shot well i know people to some <laughs> <laughs> absolutely so the, you you went up there what do you like about that job other than i mean you answered the one question getting people their loans for the first time uh do you help them like guide them with the different options they have like because people are often confused they don't understand a 30-year versus a you know balloon payment versus this for that and the other uh. i do help them with that so we go over depending on what they need so sometimes they have gotten themselves into quite a bit of credit card debt maybe uh, yeah yeah so then they want to know the best option to get out of that to get it down to get their payments down so they can function without having to file for bankruptcy mm -hmm. or people come in and they are looking to buy a house and it's actually my favorite portion of it and they have really bad credit and we can pull it and kind of go over everything and I've had people that have come back they've followed everything that I've asked them to do they've fixed up whatever collections they've had they've gone through and talked to the reporting agencies and they come back six months to a year later and they're set to actually apply oh, that has to feel amazing it yeah. really that does much actually. that has to feel amazing yeah you're helping it does. People, that's, right? that's why it's my favorite part oh wow as part of the strategy do you ever recommend that people go to the casino regularly <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not part of the strategy is it <laughs> That's not been something right. I've told them. I'll have to take that off the table with me and my wife. Now, now, now do you go there just to check to see if they are there, though? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can do that. <laughs> yeah. It breaks some kind of law somewhere in your world, Brian. <laughs> How many years have you been with the company now? It'll be 21 in May. 21, 21 years? Oh, my like, God. Tom. <laughs> Wow! I thought you were like you know. Uh, don't be careful. I thought she was twenty one. You certainly don't look like you're turned thirty, and and that yeah. is is goodness. Do you look so young because you like your job? Because people that don't like their job end up looking like Tom. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> No. I do not have an answer for you. I guess. No, it was a loaded <laughs> yes. question. Yeah. So, so uh, you work out. Ryan's here. I think the answer has to be yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's because she works for the best bosses Absolutely. ever, yes. for the best company ever, and of course, you know, there's no stress or anything, so yeah. you're not going to oh, have yeah. those lines. You and know? you're you're over at the branch in Westvale, then? Yeah. Okay, so you're you're at that one. Good. That is amazing. Are, what's happening right now? Are are people still getting mortgages? Things have really slowed down. What's yeah with the interest rate hike? Yeah. What's happening? So you're right. With the refinances, they're almost gone because there's no point in refinancing. Right. But I have seen a large uptick in people getting pre-qualified for houses because now there's more houses that are going on the market. Or a lot of people are getting home equities or line of credits because either they want to fix up their stuff or they spent so much they have the credit card debt that they want to pay off. Right. And I know so. uh, Brad here, he told us and we, he said we could share. He yes. went through the process and got pre-qualified with Geddes and is dealing with local people and and uh you know he's they we their first house and it's is there's i think his quote was there's so much to know yeah that people yeah. just yeah. don't know right there really is a lot yeah, yeah. There, between just the different types of loans or just what you have to have what a lot of people they don't have credit when they come in if they're right. especially if they're younger yeah that's tough right to get that how are up. things in the on the other side brian the the saving side are people uh putting money into like cds and things like that in, yeah, a, yeah. in a big way cds is where it's at right now mm -hmm. okay and, and people are, are looking to take advantage you know the four percent is the new uh, number that people are looking for so that's you know that's the cd rate you should be shopping for right looking for and trying to lock in excellent oh, okay. and we're very sorry about the uh, giants did we talk about the giants no we, we, we have pre, yeah. pre programming yeah. we did yes. but you know we, we should put that on the now yeah. I, I i don't follow football real well but i just know that my wife said hey you can tell brian the giants are out of it and you know he's probably well they, they were depressed they were definitely out of it in the last game <laughs> i'll say that rough. i think they were so happy that they got their first playoff win in a long, a long time, time yeah that they were happy to be there and they lost the hunger to advance because they got Golly. to the next game uh, against the Eagles, and they just, just tough. they just yeah. laid down and said, "Okay, go ahead. Yeah. You know, you can have the I was, game." I was, I got to admit, I was cheering for them for you. Yes, well, thank yeah. you. I really, you know, I, we I all was, know, you know, but, yeah, that, that's you know, Brian's team. There we go. Well, there you go. Thank you so much, and uh, Brian, you have a great team yourself over there. Sure. So, uh, and thank you for bringing Shauna, and, and thank you for being here, Shauna. 
All right. Well, thank you. I'm very lucky to have the team that I do, and, and it's nice talking with you guys. Excellent. Nice talking with you. All right. Coming up next, we're going to talk with Kyle Growth. He is the owner of Precise Barber and Company. So it's a new business to the show, and we'll find out all about what they do right here on the local show on 570 WSYR.